Hey there, I'm Olga Banitas, an artist, illustrator and a total sketchbook addict. I have been doing it for years. I teach how to draw, how to paint, how to stay motivated and have fun filling sketchbook pages. In this video I'm going to share with you my tips on how to start your first sketchbook based off my own experience and experiences of my students. Ok, don't wait for the right time. We all love to choose a special dates to start the new things. The start of the year, month, week or even a moon phase. Hmm? And it's my favorite. We are delaying our art journey till we will have more free time. And that's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. Oh, I have so much to share about the time and maybe it's better to make another video about the time. But the truth is the right time is right now when you feel the desire to start. And yes, it's that easy. Just begin. Choose the pace that suits you. I don't like challenges like draw every day. This idea is so easy to sell, but it doesn't work for most people. Yes, there are people who like it and who can manage it, and I personally knew a couple of absolutely brilliant artists who really draw every single day. But there is always a but, isn't it? But from my experience, for most people it's perfect to draw once a week or about. And that's perfectly okay. And if more than one sketching session happens, then you are the superstar. Yes, sketching is not supposed to be a challenge, it should be a pleasure. Speaking of pleasure, the next tip is to create a routine for your art session. Our brain loves rituals. Consider what inspires you. Is it music or the aroma of candles you light up every time you sketch, or maybe it's beautiful art supplies. For example, I like listening to a podcast while drawing. The podcast released weekly on Tuesday evening. And my family, it is very important moment if you have family or especially if you have kids. My family is aware that during this hour on Tuesday evening I shouldn't be distracted. It's my pleasure time. Moving on, choose a sketchbook with a few number of pages. A too big sketchbook can be frustrating. I once bought such a sketchbook and started it in, in the summer 2022. It took me almost a year to finish it, even though I'm an experienced sketcher and I draw regularly for many years. I completed it in late spring 2023. Quite a long time, isn't it? Let me explain my point. Imagine you are about to start any sport. Running, yoga, whatever you like. And at the beginning you are enthusiastic. A new beautiful sportwear, a new water bottle equipment. It's exciting. But after a week another one, maybe a month, what? You get tired and you don't feel excited anymore. And what can motivate you to keep doing the sport? Yeah, right, seeing result. You lost a couple of kilograms or you have more energy. We need a success story to keep motivated and be proud of ourselves. The same goes for your art journaling practice. Well, not exactly the same, but I think you've got my point. We need success shortly after starting sketching practice. A finished sketchbook is perfect to celebrate the success. I made this sketchbook with a few paper to draw during my trip to St. Petersburg last summer. It tells a complete story and holds precious memories from that trip. I have a video about this sketchbook on my channel, check it out! And I have a course on handmade sketchbooks. You'll find tons of information and inspiration there. Links are in the description. Ok, moving on! 
find company and guidance. It is so important to feel supported. Maybe you have a friend who also has a passion in painting or drawing and you can draw together sometimes or share your art, your ups and downs, that will be perfect. Or you can join an online class, that also will be great. I only encourage you to choose carefully and be sure it's not too pushy for you. Mm, a live a local sketch community, perfect. A group or chat on social media, okay. Choose what works for you right now. I'm planning to film some lessons for very beginners and publish them here on YouTube. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.